you've just arrived. Do you realise we both start all of our sentences with so? so. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Would you like me to start again? <laughs> no, it's carry on. So, so, <laughs> we have just arrived at Cooters in Long Island, which is south of Dunmanski, I think. Yeah. And um, this is our new accommodation for the next five days. They've uh, really tried to make us welcome. And we've also got a little bottle of sparkly and cake. Darlene's, everyone raves about Darlene's cakes. <gasps> Chocolate cake. Oh my goodness, look. I know who's going to have that one. Enough of the cake. <laughs> what we need to do is have a look at this. And this is our backyard. So I think we've done pretty well. Yeah, it looks gorgeous. It is 9 a.m. Um, and it's a Monday. Um, you've seen lots of videos of us doing nice holiday things. Um, I work from home and while Sarah is a teacher she managed to get quite a long vacation. Um, I'm now back at work um, but what I'm doing is I'm instead of working from home in the UK I'm working from home wherever it is in uh, the Bahamas. So I started at 5am this morning which is 10am UK time and I'll just show you my working environment. Hold on. So my laptop, all the things that I need to work, but look at my view. So I sat and watched the sun come up whilst I was doing my emails, just trying to get myself back into the groove of things after two weeks away. Um, communication systems are working well, I've got a VoIP telephone system with work, so um, this, is, this is the way forward I think. go somewhere you think to yourself you've seen it all it can't get any better and then you get this <laughs> Gordon's Beach I'm 
southern tip of Long Island. We're um, on Long Island, as you know, and we have uh, been given some advice to go to a place called Galloway's Beach. Um, it is really hard to find, um, but it is really worth the journey. Um, so you would just carry on south from Clarence Town, so you see a fork in the road on the right. You follow that road down until you go over two little bridges, then turn left, and it is a proper rickety road. When you've got to the end of that road you will see this
surprises for us here which is a kind of a, seems to be a mixture of mains and desserts in one when we were in Exuma we had curried banana yeah. and we really couldn't work out whether we wanted this because it comes as part of like a, um, a tapas meal didn't it like all, all little bits and pieces but actually we ordered it as a dessert by itself and right now we're eating something called coconut That's shrimp and they're not shrimps. In the UK, we know a shrimp is. It's that big. These are prawns. And they've got desiccated coconut in the batter. And it's like, what did we say it was? Like a macaroon. It's like a macaroon. No, macaroon's almondy. That. Can't be a macaroon. Is a, well. Well, it's like a biscuit. What it is. That mm. is a coconut prawn shrimp. And it's sweet on the outside and savoury on the inside. It's really good, really good. It's very windy, so I hope you can hear me. But today we've come to a place called Dean's Blue Hole. Dean's Blue Hole, I think, is the number one tourist spot on Long Island. It's probably the place where most people come. But to come here this time last week, um, there was an international competition here for free diving because I believe it's the uh, second deepest blue hole in the world. 
um, and I understand that there was a world record broken while we were here, uh, while they were here last year sorry last week so you drive down a long road and you get to a cove and then you'll see it and you the, how you can tell is that the water changes are very to a very deep blue color from the emerald green I'll turn the camera around so you can see there it is <laughs> 